we're now at the clear coat stage of this tutorial, which means we're getting closer to getting this finished. So as you can see, I got the clear here, the hardener, and the Mr. Retarder mild. The one thing I want to say before we go any further is, that, and this is a good habit to get into if you're not already doing it, is always make sure you wipe down your paint booth. It's just one thing you can, one more thing you can do to help cut down on, on the debris getting into your paint jobs and your clear coat. Uh, earlier I have, I clear coated the R31. And before I did that I vacuumed out the paint booth filter, vacuumed out the paint bo uh, the booth itself, and I've been wiping it down periodically uh, to help make sure there's no uh, loose debris in there that have fallen in there in between getting things ready for this next round of clear coating. Just a good habit to get into. Other good habit to get into is to keep a tack, clo a tack cloth on hand. Tack cloths are very nice to have. Uh, I use it in conjunction with the compressed air. I always spray the compressed air on the body right before I'm getting ready to get things going between paint, clear coat, all this stuff. I always spray it off. But I, the, I will use a tap cloth on the body right before I start spraying. Just sometimes the compressed air cannot get everything off of it. Sometimes some, some things will stick to it. That's when the tap tack cloths come in handy. Another good habit to get into is get yourself a tack cloth and tack down the body just before you start spraying. That last little thing you want to do before you get to spraying, just one more thing to help you get better results. And moving on now, one other tip I like to pass on, this was a, I got this tip from Tony07, awesome builder. He uses medicine measuring cups to measure to his clear, the you know, the clear and the, and the hardener. Great tip he passed on. I find that I actually uh, find that it makes, it helps getting the parts measured a little more accurate and it just seems to work better for me. So great tip from him. Pass it on to you guys if you, for, you know, if you guys want to try it out, give it a try. Uh, measuring cups. I actually have ones that I used on the R31 that are in the purple bath getting clean that have the measurements, you know, all the way up and down the side of the, the cup to help you see exactly what you're measuring. I have no idea if you guys can see that. They're there. This one does not, so I'm going to be going in blind with that one, but I'm just going to guess. Anyways, let's get this, uh, let's get the clear mixed up and get to it, shall we? Pipettes are another awesome thing to use. Another tip that Tonio passed on to me. Okay, so I'm about at, trying to figure it out, I'm in between, probably at about seven or so milliliters there of clear. Give or take somewhere there in the middle. I'm just kind of guessing on this one. It's a 4 to 1 ratio, 4 parts clear to 1 part hardener. Alright, so there is the hardener, hardener, the activator, which is called the activator, hardener, whatever. Words, I have problems saying them sometimes pronouncing them, excuse me. And last but not least, the it's a little bit 
just to help it flow a little bit. Put this away. I'll mix it up. And now we are ready to get spraying. First round is done. I say the first round is done because I noticed a lot of debris it's in the clear coat as I was going out. I contemplated stopping, letting it dry, wet sand it out. No, I just want to have forged ahead. Let it dry. I'm going to go back and wet sand it out, see where it is. But for right now, it's done. At least that coat is done. I'll let this dry and I'll take a look at it here the next day or so and see how it looks. There you can see fresh out of the paint booth. It is here on the bench now. I have not touched the body between the paint booth and this video. I mean, I've I've looked at it, of course, and what have you, but I haven't actually done anything to it. This is how it is, how it came out of the paint booth. No, no work in between, nothing. So, overall, it looks pretty good, if you will. Um, nice, smooth as glass, pretty much uh, clear coat. Nice and shiny for a stock build. Nothing to complain about there. I'm, overly, I am happy with how it turned out. What I'm not happy with is the amount of debris that I got in it, which is kind of ironic because I took a few minutes and talked about, before I got clear coating, about some of the things you could do to cut back on the debris. Well, unfortunately, none of that worked, and I have a nice big debris field on in the clear coat that i got to try and get out. I'm probably not gonna really even going to get be able to get most of it out. I'm just be able to flatten it a little bit and what have you so you won't see bumps in the clear but unfortunately it's pretty bad but I'm not going to strip it or anything um, it is what it is I'm going to deal with it I'm going to move forward uh, you'll notice a couple of times in the video I actually was stopped I stopped because I was looking at it because I could see the debris as I was clear coating it and unfortunately it's not like when you mix uh, airbrush ready paint like scale finishes paint where you can uh, wipe off the debris because it's not you're not putting wet coats on so you can basically touch the paint and remove some debris unfortunately the clear coat it's kind of going on wet so you really can't do that so I was trying to debate did I want to keep proceeding and did I wanted to keep going or did I want to just throw it in the purple pond or the alcohol bath and start over again and those I, I like I said I stopped a couple of times because I kept thinking about it and the more I kept going the more I could see the debris the more it kept bugging me and irritating me I just said screw it went ahead so that's where we are today. So I got to take some time and get the debris out. Not a big deal. It is what it is. Uh, and so that is that. But overall, again, I'm happy with how it turned out. It looks pretty good. Um, I think you know, it'll, it'll look fine once it's everything is done. Uh, one other thing I want to notice too, you'll notice at the end of the video, I stopped again. I was trying to figure out what was going on. Uh, funny thing is, the compressor stopped working right as I was getting close to the end of the clear coat, which was good timing on its part. It decided to stop working as I was getting close to being done. Bad timing is I still had to clean the airbrush. And because the compressor was quiet, I really couldn't hear the compressor running when the paint booth was on. So I didn't really honestly know what was going on until I stopped and figured out, oh, it isn't running. And I used up most of the air that was in the tanks. I really didn't have any air left to clean the airbrush. So I was scrambling, tearing, 
getting the airbrush torn apart, getting pieces soaking so they didn't dry and get ruined and what have you. So that's going to happen. So you'll see that video. I'm not sure if you'll see before or after this video. I'm not really sure when it's going to go up. So I did a video talking about that as well. So that was the painting tutorial video. Before I finish, I'll show you this real quick. This is what I have done. That is the interior that I did. Went ahead and painted it a dark blue, uh, kind of fitting, I guess, for it. There's the engine in there and the chassis and stuff. So that is that. Uh, you're going to have to wait and see the completed video for this one, guys. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys how to do the, the actual painting part. So there it is. I do hope you guys learned something. I hope I was able to maybe help you guys paint better. Some, I hope you guys might have been able to learn something from this uh, set of videos. I really do hope so. I hope I didn't waste your time and you guys didn't learn anything because then I'm just wasting my time and not helping you guys build better models. So that's part of why I'm here is to help you guys out too. So please let me know if anything I've done will be useful to you. On that note, guys, thank you so much for watching.